Good evening and welcome back to Football Manager 2024. A London Green save. We are back, guys. We are back. We've got a game against Junction Elite here today. Oh, April needs a rest. Starting him is a mistake. Well, April is coming back from injury. So he will only be playing the first half anyway. But Junction are playing in a 4 4 2, pretty standard, pretty regular. We're going to be playing in our. Same formation that we beat Sydney with last time out. If I quickly show you the formation, um, it's kind of a 5 1 3 situation. Um, all over the top from DaCosta to Crosby into the middle. Surely, no, that's the, I feel that was the wrong pass. There is Paparol. He's back in the side. DaCosta to Sunderman. Sunderman going backwards a little bit. Looks to go forward. Does and shoots it in off the post. And Constantine Sunderman has really shown himself to be quite the useful player for us. He's been around a few... He's been around for a little bit. I'll actually give it a pause and go have a look. He's been around since, well, season one. But he didn't make a, an appearance until season three. And in season four, he is having a much, much better season. Look at that. He's gone. The average rating is going up. Going up, and he's been playing in various positions, to be fair to the lad. He plays, I've played him in midfield, I've played him up top, I've played him as a cam, which is where he's currently playing. And this has been a real good start. This has been a real good start. Let's hope that we can keep it going. Good steal from Crosby. Look for Sunderman up there if you can. No, fine. Look out wide. Yeah, Odekoya. Now there's passes inside. Crosby out wide. There's space out there. Hey. Anna Tordekoya, fine, shoots it. Oh, I thought that was in. I thought that was in. I thought the keeper wasn't even reacting. I was a bit like, what's going on here? <laughs> it looks like AFC Yule have just scored their game. They have against Indian Club. We need them to drop points. We do. We do. Otherwise, we're just going to be settling in second place um, all the way through. For the rest of the season and that's not really what i'm after it's not really what i'm after at all um tactically for this game guys we've gone with positive attack one rather than all out attack three um because we are away from home and um i kind of want to bounce between the tactics left and right you know change things up here and there and um, just so that the opposition doesn't really know what we're going to hit them with you know and um over time as we kind of get better at each of our tactics get a little bit more, I don't know, familiar, I guess, with each of our tactics. That's, that's, it means that the opposition won't know what's going to hit them. We could hit them with plan A or plan B or plan C, you know. Um, but I feel like in, in the seasons gone by, we were trying to force that a little bit. This season, we're kind of a little bit calmer about things, a little bit more controlled, a little bit more disciplined. You know, we've got that platform. Plan one, we've got plan two or plan uh, plan A, plan B, but both of them are very similar, very similar attacking styles. One is more direct than the other. Hannah's in on goal and bangs it home. What an assist from Odakoya. Oh, it's been disallowed. Okay, fine. Hannah was offside, but good play nonetheless. We have dominated this game so far. I'd very much like us to maybe score another one, maybe score another two. And, uh, Really kind of, I probably would then swap into the all-out attack and see if we could bang in two or three near the end of the game. And the Costa takes a long shot, it goes over. But Junction have not produced much at all. Look at that one shot in 60-odd minutes. Odekoya shoots that in off the, oh, I thought it was in off the post. But it wasn't. <laughs> JC have scored a goal back against Sidley. That's great. Oh, okay. Sidley have just scored themselves to make it 3-1. And we're still kind of hoping the Indian club can get a goal back against AFC Yule. And, uh, and a ruin their party. And hopefully give us top spot in the league. It would actually give us top spot. Sunderman over the top to Finn Powell. Finn Powell's played really well for us over the last couple of weeks. Back to Adekoya. Over the top. Sunderman's there. He's pulled down. Or tripped. Or whatever. Yeah. That was a clear penalty. That was a clear penalty. And let's see if Russell Short can put it in. It would be his fifth penalty. I've actually forgotten to take off Fraser Papril. We should have done that. Going to do it now. Short puts it in. That's his sixth goal. 
He scored five penalties this year. He's done pretty good at taking those spot kicks for us. And let's just keep it. You know what? I'm not even going to change it. I was going to say, let's go all out attack. If we get another goal here, I will go all out attack and try and try and see what we can do at the end of the game. Costa looks for the back post. There's no one there. Darren Lua catches the ball. What's he going to do with it? Going to kick it long or are you going to play it short? Kicks it long. Okie dokes. Anna gets above Kaiser. Sunderman plays it over to Odekoya. Lovely pass. Odekoya look for a cross. No. Looks for a pass into Hannah. Hannah shoots it. He shoots it in off the post. And Hannah gets his goal. And it's also been assisted by, uh, by Odekoya. Like it was when he was, um, his goal was actually disallowed. Um, Oh, Hawkehurst have equalised against Kensington. It's not the goal I wanted. I want Indian club to score. Generated so many chances, on oh my word. JC have got one back. Makes it 3-2. Make another few changes here, because we've got players to bring on. Um, yeah, there we go. Two more changes kind of in the attacking third. Rebu will come on. Thomas back to Hannah. Hannah's already got one. Plays it back to Odekoya. Back to Isaac now. Back to Odekoya. Back to Russell Short. We've gone all the way back. Over the top. Sweeney on the far side. Into the middle. Powell is there. And Powell makes it four. And this is a bit of a um, bit of a route. Bit of a kind of destructive performance. We can score goals all day long, but the problem is, if AFC Yule don't drop any points, it's not going to matter, and we are not going to get promoted. Kodak have scored. Kensington have equalised again against Hawkehurst. That game looks like a crazy good game. Really well done from DaCosta. Bursting through the lines. Attacking really well. Great pass to Ray Boo, and oh, he probably should have scored that one. He should have scored that one. Couple minutes to go. Sidley have put their game to bed. Um, our game was put to bed probably after, I don't know, 50 minutes, 60 minutes. Bird whips that one in. And Kensington have scored as well. Yeah, I mean, Junction have grabbed a goal from a corner. It's a bit frustrating. A bit, it's a bit annoying that we concede so late, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, you've blown, blown them away. Great performance. 4-1. The, the, the slight letdown at the end, of course, with the conceding a goal, but the damage is done. It's a great win, and it, it didn't look like you, AFC Yule didn't look like they conceded. They looked like they got their win as well. So they will stay at the top. We will keep on chasing them and chasing them and chasing them as best we can. Goal difference is very close here. And, uh, yeah. Well... Yeah, 65 minutes and then 67. So that two punch there was really what put it away. Conjunction Elite are, well, they're not really that close to relegation. They're, well, they're two wins away if Kodak would get their wins, I suppose. But the big one for us is the FC Yule not, not losing. Not losing. So let's, uh, let's attend the post game press conference. I mean, no. Yeah, fine. Player of the week was Adrian Benjamin for two goals in that Kensington game. Kensington are flying up the table. They are on 31 points here and they haven't lost in how many? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 games since they lost to Hawkehurst and Yule. A win against Junction. So they had a kind of bad start to the season. Since then, they are absolutely flying. They've got a game against us as well, soon. You have a game against us soon. Okay, what about FC Yule? Their next game is against Hawkehurst. Hawkehurst are in six. Kind of dropped a little bit. You never know. Maybe maybe they can... Uh... Saying we're going first. We're not going first. That's incorrect. Maybe Hawkehurst can do us a favour. Maybe they can do us a favour. Okay, Oaks, we are at the next game, the Westfield game. Nothing of note happened um, in between the games. We're going to attend the press conference, of course. Um, Westfield are currently lying in eight. I don't think they're 
Um, yeah, well, I think we'll win. I'm hoping we will. Um, we need Hawkehurst to get the win. We actually need Hawkehurst to get the win. A win here could see us go top. Yeah, of course it is. Um, we are playing in a direct manner. I'm not sure what you mean. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you mean. I'm confident of a win. I've got to be because we do need a win. We've got to keep winning games and we've got to hope that you all can drop points. And if they don't, nothing really matters. So can Hawkehurst do us a favor? That's the important one. Can Hawkehurst do us a favor? Um, I don't know. Great news. Great news. The under 18s got themselves a win and they, well, they're in 12th. But they're not doing bad. Look at that. There's so few draws. They don't seem to draw games. And when they do, it's five all <laughs> each way, which is quite crazy, if I'm being honest. And um, Larry Rigby is injured. That's unfortunate. You can actually see that that injury came in the uh, in the game in the ninth minute. Dang, that's real unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Um, fitness test for everyone. Pass the fitness test. Awesome. Awusu can come back. That's good to know. That's really good to know. Crosby, although I like the setup with the team we've got here. And what I'll do is I'll bring Nethercott off. Awusu joins in. Duncan, but you know what? I was about to say Duncan can come back as well, but Hannah has been really good. Hannah has been really good since getting a chance in the team, you know? So maybe, maybe we don't need to change that. Maybe we don't need to change that. Let's go ahead with the team that we are team we are looking at. Papril, how are you doing on your low on sharpness? But other than that, it's not really that's not really a problem because Papril's over his injury now. So maybe we are getting towards the end of the um the injury crisis. Um, it's not really a crisis when you have two weeks between matches. Like you've got a lot of time to recover. And look at that, we almost got that loss out of the way off of the form meter. Right, here we go. Big game, because every game's a big game, but the biggest game is probably Hawkehurst versus Ewell. Can they do us a favour? First highlight, Isaac plays it back to Russell Short, the captain. Plays it forward over the top to Sunderman, who might be offside, but if he buries it, we'll then deal with it afterwards. Sunderman scores it. No. Not offside. 1-0. And playing Sunderman, he's having an incredible season. He really is. And again, just like last time out, just like in the first game, we go we go 1-0 up and then it's like, yeah, we're top of the league. Because Ewell have only played five minutes, of course. Um, if they If they play longer and they score a couple goals, then obviously they'll just jump back over on top of us. So let's see... What we can do here. Well defended from Odekoye. Pinch that one really, really well. Running forward. There's a few passes. Not any more. Keeps going. Crosses it long. Crosby tries to jump. Can't quite get there. Lassisi brings it. No, De Costa intercepted. Lovely interception. That was great. All the way back to short. Over the top. Sunderman brings it down. No, not it to Powell who buries it. Was lovely. That was absolutely incredible. I'm, I'm a little bit lost for words, but... Constantine Sunderman is playing out of his skin. Out of his skin. And uh, playing him as a cam, you know, I don't know how often we've done that in the past, but really working right now. It's really working. Acosta over for Crosby, looking for Sunderman, and Sunderman scores again. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't actually say any more now, could I? If I, if I, I can, <laughs> I can just lay the praise, just, Constant praise. Sandhurst have got a goal against Sydney. That's really important. And Hawkehurst have taken the lead against Ewell. Hawkehurst have taken the lead. That's 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 really great. That's awesome. Okay, to Costa, back to Papril, back to Short, back to Sunderman, back to Crosby. Lovely ping pong passes. The Papril now Crosby again, surely? Nope, just kind of just chilling on it. Okay, fine. Over the top, Crosby's in. Look for Sunderman. Oh, it's unfortunately just that's unfortunate. Um, Pat Birain or Biran has gone to get back, tried to block the cross, and unfortunately, just kind of like oh, AFC Yule, they've already put one in. 
I've already put one in short, nods it over. It's unfortunate for Westfield and it's unfortunate for us. Look at our XG of 1. Our XG of 1. And yet we are 4-0 up. That is crazy. Kensington continue their good run of form. Um, putting, putting in a goal there. Well bashed away from Foden. Lassisi shoots off the post. And that will go out for a goal kick. It comes to nothing. But that's a bit of a warning shot. It is a bit of a warning shot. And AFC Ewell of, you know, they've got an hour left. They've got 60 minutes left to, to try and take the lead. Otherwise, we go top of the league. And with a 4-0, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go even more attacking. I'm going to go even more attacking here. Sunderman's going to move up top. And, yeah. That's lovely. Sweeney will come off in a second. Santos to put in another one. That's perfect. No, and then City of... Put one in themselves. Sweeney does need to come off. Yeah, he does. Okay, off you come, lad. Thomas comes on. Um, a little swap there. Isaac can play on the right. Yep, that's good. 4-0. We've only had five shots. We've only had three shots on target. Of course, the own goal kind of, kind of is the reason for that. Hilltop have equalised against Kensington. Blown, blown him away. Queenie's unfortunately had to come off. But he's been really good as well. I feel like we're just having a good run of form. And if we just keep it going. Oh look. Bahrain's day goes from bad to worse there. Hodak have scored to equalise against Indian Club. They need that if they're going to try and get out of the relegation zone. We've now actually had more shots than Westfield. Which wasn't the case for a long time. And Yule have scored. Dang it. You all have grabbed a goal. They go 2-1 up. Dyer runs in. Andrews at the back post. Takes control of it. Got what he's doing back to Dyer. Dyer shoots and, wow, buries it. Buries it, to be fair. That might be the warning we need to just go into balanced mode and try and see out a bit of time here. Let's go. Go with some time wasting. Yeah, you all get in their goal. They've scored another one. They're 3-1. Uh, so the fact that we can score goals left and right in this game doesn't seem to matter, really. It doesn't seem to matter. AFC Yule are just having fun as well. Sandhurst puts one in. Hilltop put one in. Powell on the ball. Kind of gets crowded out there. I'm actually going to make a few changes as well. And let's bring on Awusu and kind of bring him back. Sunderman can come back into midfield. Odekoya, you can stay up top. And Powell will come off for... Rothorn, maybe? Rothorn will just sit back as well. We'll kind of play a little bit more structure. Like, so really just kind of leaving Odekoya up there. Um, but just, just blocking things out a little bit. Just blocking things out at the end of this game. Gotland on the ball, plays it wide to Dyer, the goal scorer who takes on his man. Takes on his man, goes out for a corner, well defended from Isaac. 4-0 um, after so little time is probably the reason. This game feels a bit weird. This game feels a bit weird just because of that. Because the fact that everything we touched in the first 20 minutes turned to gold. And then since then... We've still generated chances, but not nearly as many. And Odekoya is actually through from a pass from Foden. Mark Foden gets an assist. I feel like he's actually got a few assists. Um, I feel like he has actually got a few assists. If we take a look at his stats. Oh, wait, I can see that. That's showing his... Um, that's not showing his... I want to see his actual... Um, not sorry, not his actual stats. He's, they're these goals. Um, can we see assists anywhere? We actually can't see assists anywhere. A little bit annoying. A little bit annoying. That's me. Oh, okay. No, never mind. Back to the game. Five-one. Hawkehurst have grabbed a goal back, which is lovely. Great to see. Can they can they help us out? Can they get another one? Sunderman's going to take this. I'm oh, sorry. Hannah took it. Sunderman's... Is that Sunderman there? Yeah, it is. He's just to the right. Hannah, what can you do with it? What can you do with it, lad? 
Really close. Off the wall. Deflected and in. Wow, you've got to feel for Westfield. They're, they're kind of... 4-0 down. That's kind of kick me when, you're, when I'm down situation. We're 6-1. Yeah, take him off. We'll take Owusu off. Means we're playing with 10 for the last 5 minutes, but it doesn't really matter. And again, if you will win by one goal again, I'll be fuming. Kensington score. When we're putting in goals left and right and they're getting wins by one point, it's a little bit... Well, it's, it's not annoying because a one goal win is still a really, really good... That was a great goal. It's a really, really good result, you know, because it shows that in a close game, you were still able to get over the line. While we're absolutely dominating 6-2, we've scored loads of goals. Um... It, it just does not matter. It just does not matter. If, if AFC Yule don't drop a point, it's not going to matter. And that will be full time. A lovely performance. A 6-2. An absolutely, well, a dominating performance, really. Uh, we did make a few changes. We took off players that we needed to. And yeah, 4 nil in 20 minutes. We'd run away with it. That's two wins in this episode. Unfortunately, it looks like AFC Yule have got their wins as well, and I don't really know how many other ways I can say it. They don't drop points. It ain't going to matter. Slight negatives to take from that is that Sweeney got injured for a five to eight days. Awusu's got injured as well. We'll attend the press conference. Such a positive result. Will the players? Yeah, of course. What a win. Uh, yeah, of course I'm pleased. Yeah, we've got to keep the form going. If we don't, we don't, we don't win. Yeah, I think so. Sunderman's early performance was incredible. Um, it was a good strike. Give him that one. Crosby out on the left is, you know, it has, it has done well for us. Sunderman, two goals, one assist, and that was in about 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, that was in about 10 minutes, really, so it's fine. We've now gone unbeaten in five, which is really, really good. Next up will be Kensington and Hawkehurst. So it's going to be a, a, not going to be an easy episode next time. Um, whereas it looks like you will actually will have a bit of an easier episode. They've got Kodak and Hilltop. So that'll be, that'll be that. Let's see. Wilcox gets player of the match for the 3-1 over Sidley. Result gives us confidence. Um, okay, there we go. We can have a look at the table. So again, same as before, it's a one-point game. We've we've settled into second place and built a six-point gap over Sidley after they lost to um, Sandhurst. The only issue here, really, that you all aren't dropping points. That's all it is, guys. That's all it is. And they've got Hilltop and Kodak next time out, I think. So yeah, seventh and eleventh. Uh, let me just double check that. I just looked at it. Kodak and Hilltop it is. But then they've got Sidley and Sandhurst on the last episode. So we might be able to... We might be able to hope that third and fourth Sidley and Sandhurst could do us a favour. But until then, we've got to keep winning our games. And we've got to we've got to just live in hope, I suppose. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching today's episode. I know it's been a bit of a shorter one. Last time out, obviously, was a longer one. Um, because there were three games in that month. Uh, this one, only two. And next last two episodes will only be two uh, two games as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And I shall catch you next time.